I grew up watching Pastor Ben Hinn. In fact, I gave my life to Christ while watching Pastor Ben Hinn when I was below the age of 18. Maybe I was about 8, 10, between 8 and 10 years. Pastor Ben Hinn is among those pastors who have had a lot of controversy. Some people has, have termed them as the pers prosperity gospel preachers. Well, Israeli televangelist Pastor Ben Hinn has issued an apology for delivering prophecies that in his own admission were not from God. While speaking to the strong report, the 71-year-old Pastor Ben Hinn shared his two biggest ministry regrets, endorsing the prosperity gospel and spreading untrue prophecies. Those were the two that he shared. This is not the first time the pastor has criticized the prosperity gospel in 2019. He declared he was done with it and was correcting his own theology after witnessing the harm caused by such teachings. At the time he shared in a Facebook video, I think it's an offense to the Lord. It's an offense to say give a thousand dollars. I think it's an offense to the Holy Spirit to place a price on the gospel. I'm done with it. I'll never again ask you to give a thousand dollars or whatever amount because I think the Holy Ghost is just fed up with it. In his recent interview with a strong report, Ben Hinn reiterated his stance and sought forgiveness from his audience, reflecting on past errors. He shared different examples where he believed he received divine revelation, but later realized was inaccurate. And then there were times when I thought God had showed me something that he wasn't showing me, and I spoke it out, Ben Hinn said. But in 1 Corinthians 13, we clearly see that we all prophesy in part. That means we don't see the full picture, and sadly, I wish I could go back and fix it. But sadly, there were some prophecies I gave that were not accurate or from, or from the Lord. But who is perfect? And for that, of course, I ask people to forgive me. I'm just human and made mistakes like that. And I'll probably make them again. I suppose down the road because I'm not perfect. Ben Hinn said. So I came to the conclusion in 2019 that I don't want to be part of the Jimmy Curry of it. And I still stand by that. But sadly, I let pressure get to me. And because of that pressure, I said things and did things that I should not have done. And for that, really, I'm sorry. And I ask the dear people watching us to really forgive me for that. And I'm striving with all my heart to be as biblical as possible with that. Right now, my focus is the Lord and only Lord. And if, of course, there will be the time when I may have to raise funds for our ministry, I will do it as, bibl as biblically as I know how. Ben Hinn continued. Beside the prosperity gospel, Ben Hinn has been criticized by many for living a lavish lifestyle while touring the world with his healing ministry. In 2009, Ben Hinn's ministry was investigated by U.S. politicians on the Senate Committee on Finance to determine whether he had benefited personally from donations made to his church work. 63-year-old Pastor Bruce Holen of Calvary Chapel of the Woodlands in Texas has been fired. The church whose services are hosted in a junior high school auditorium has announced the firing of their longtime pastor following his arrest for possession with intent to promote child pornography. The firing came on May 8th, the same day authorities arrested the married father who has two daughters and a son for allegedly promoting and distributing naked pictures of young girls, ABC 13 reported. You are looking at a 63-year-old man having photos, naked photos of children between the age of 9 and 12. This is insane. The Board of Calvary Chapel of the Woodlands has discussed the allegations against Pastor Bruce Holland and unanimously decided effective immediately that Bruce Holland is stripped of his role as lead pastor of Calvary Chapel of Woodlands. The church said in a statement on their website, this is what was in the statement. The board hereby has determined that Bruce Holland no longer has authority, authorization or permission to conduct any business on behalf of Calvary Chapel of Woodlands. He may not hold himself out as a leader in any capacity for the church, and he may not speak on behalf of the church in any capacity. 
Bruce Holland's arrest, according to authorities, came as a result of a sting operation focused on internet crimes against children. The girls in the photos holding hard in his position were between the age of 9 and 12, authorities said, and they were naked from the waist down. Some of the young victims were engaged in sexual acts. Holland is currently jailed on a $30,000 bond. That is sad and heartbreaking. There was a time where we thought that age is wisdom. Today we, we beg to differ. Until the, past you see, until the person shows you who they are, don't just assume that because they are older, they know better. I mean, this is a pastor, a 63-year-old pastor with a family.